He's a national organizer of the NPP. In reaction, and, and, and he put up a reaction to the occupied Julobi house. I want to remind him something that he said ahead of Occupy Flagstaff House in 2014. Put it up for them for me. 29 June 2014. He says, on 1st July, kindly join the march to occupy the front lawn of the Flagstaff House to cry to the president that Nkoye, it's a civic duty. It shouldn't always be a political party or the opposition leading agitations for betterment of our lot. Civil revolutions are always the most powerful and effective tools for change. Let's do this for Mother Ghana. The suffering is too much. Spread the word and be there yourself. He has forgotten that he said this. Because if you marry this, keep it on the screen. If you marry this to what he wrote in the statement that Enkoye, say, say, ask him, Enkoye, say, say, ask him how protesters were refused the opportunity to even get closer to the traffic light at the Flagstaff House. Yet, we allowed McNeil in his boxer shorts with his friends to go into the Jubilee House to record a video with vulgar words at our presidency. He doesn't pay his taxes to us. But we, those who pay our taxes, out of which Salam is paid, my good brother, is telling us now that the demonstration was much ado about nothing and that we are regurgitating the issues that are already known. But here he is on the 29th of June 2014. He has forgotten. That's why I'm reminding him. What he said, calling our people to come and join the demonstration, not led by a political party, as we saw Occupy Julobi, but led by people who are right in the middle. Martin Pebu, he... He supported Akufuado live on TV. I interviewed him in 2016. One of the people who interviewed him. Today, if things are not going well and he says it, people call him all sorts of names. But they've forgotten that some of his followers also voted for Akufuado because he said so. So show this to Salam and tell him that if he has forgotten, we are reminding him. And that he should not let the Atiye give him a refrain. He said, Nkoye, it is a civic duty. Today we are performing the civic duty and we are being called names. And we are being chased out. He said, we should go and occupy the front lawn of the Jubilee House. Today we are not even getting closer. They locked the people up at 37. They pass here. But the same lot want to break the eight. Come to me. 